Hey everyone! So, I don't know if I've ever done like a follow up on that elf haul that I had got a while back, but I was just sitting here and I was putting on some of the blush and I was thinking about it and I was thinking, eh, I don't think I did a, a follow up video on like a review on how I felt about the products. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that these are the only products I had purchased for myself. I had purchased also a lip gloss for my sister, but I gave it to her. And I also purchased her one of these, the Lip Primer and Plumper, so I gave that to her as well. And I'm thinking these are the only products that I had got for myself during that time. Um, so I haven't been using the primer, so... I really can't tell you like 100% how I feel about it, um, but to be honest with you, when I first started using it, I was kind of combining it with a bunch of other products, so something was breaking my face out, so I quit using this, and I don't know. It's not scented. I just wanted to test that. Had to take a little sniff there. <laughs> um, but it feels really good. And it worked well when I used it. But I don't know if it was breaking out my face. So I don't want to say anything negative about it. Because you guys know I have really sensitive skin. And pretty much anything will break my face out. So I don't know if it was the primer or not. But this is a pretty good primer so far from what I used of it. It's uh, mineral infused. And yeah... I can't say much about it except that it's not scented which is good it feels really good and it worked nicely as as a nice little primer but I just don't know how I really feel about it because if it broke my face out then I'm just not a fan of it but I don't know if it broke my face out so give me a little time and um, when I can I'll test it out a few more times when my face is being normal because during this winter time right now, my face has lost its mind. It's having a nervous breakdown. So, uh, I'll try that out a few more times and then I'll let you know how I feel about it. I was really disappointed in two of these products that I got. This one I actually loved in the beginning. If you remember when I was doing my haul video, I actually talked nicely about this product. But one problem I have is um, it is turned to liquid. Before, it was a thick consistency. Oh, well, there you go. My bad. My bad, guys. My bad. Just a minute ago when I was trying it, where I haven't used it in a while, it had turned to liquid. But I guess if you shake it, it turns a little thicker. So I'm sorry. But it is the blush I have on right now. It is a very pretty color. I got it in the color Superstar. Look at me. I look like a superstar. No, but it is really a pretty color. Um... It shows up really good, as you can tell. I put a little too much on there. Oh, let me smooth it out with my e.l.f. kabuki brush. So, yeah. Looking like a clown, but it's all good. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's a color superstar. So, yeah, that was the only complaint I have about that then, because other than that, I actually really liked it. But if you don't use it for a while, it goes into liquid. And when it goes out on your hand, it's like, it's like water. So, shake it up good, like I just did. And that'll fix that for you. Oh, I need something to wipe this on because I totally just wasted it. Ah! So the other product I want to talk about that I was disappointed in was the Eye Refresh. Very disappointed in this product. Only because this roller, it kind of gets stuck. And it, it doesn't really go on. And like you're sitting there rubbing it over and over and over. And you're like, why don't I feel this product? Because it's not coming out. But I learned a really cool thing that I'm going to teach you guys, which is probably unsafe and unsanitary and uncool, but it worked for me, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if I don't care, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, that's just your opinion. But, um, so, yeah, it actually worked there for a second, but sometimes it gets stuck. So, when it gets stuck, I take my teeth and I stick it, um, if you can see, there's a marble, right? And then uh, there's a little rubber thing here, and then it's the packaging, right? So I just go, I pop the marble out, and I actually will dump it over, 
until some of the product starts to come out. And what I do is take my finger, I get it on my finger, I'll pat this on my eyes, and then I'll put the marble back in, and then I'll roll it on because it somehow gets it kind of rolling. Like, I guess maybe if you allow the product to kind of come down, then it'll roll. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I know that sounds crazy, but the little ball gets stuck, and so I just pop out the marble and proceed. Um, I don't know that it really did anything for me. It feels good. It's called the Eye Refresh. I don't know what really it's supposed to do. It's got um, some good ingredients in it. It says the cooling sensation of the roller ball brightens and refreshes the eye area and helps to alleviate under eye puffiness and dark circles. It has uh, pomegranate, rosemary, green tea, cucumber, and grape to hydrate and nourish the skin. Um, it, you're supposed to use it throughout the day or whatever to refresh your eyes and awaken your eyes and all that jazz and yeah it feels good so no complaints there other than the little ball um, I also wanted to say I had the same problem with the zit zapper this also has a ball in the end um, yeah you can pop that baby off too I actually popped the whole top off and so when I want to use my zit zapper I dump it over, dab it on with my finger, or you could put a Q-tip in there and put it on um, because for some reason the ball got stuck and the product wasn't coming out, so I had to get it out somehow because I really like this stuff. It's got green tea in it and maybe uh, salicylic acid. I don't know. It's got some good stuff for pimples and stuff, so yeah. I didn't buy this product with that haul, but I've had this. I have two of them actually. I just wanted to tell you about the little ball. Yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching this video. Um, I have another video to make, so I think I'm just going to record it right now. And I'm probably going to post it at the same time as this. So yeah, this was a follow-up on the e.l.f. haul that I purchased back in November. I'm so sorry that I'm so slow. Sorry! Bye! Dude, I feel so cray-cray right now because I almost finished this video up and like, you know, finished editing it or whatever, and I was going to post it without doing the lip primer and plumper review. Stupid. Um, yeah. Anyway. Oh, and I also wanted to say, I'm sorry, but the, uh, zit stuff does not have green tea in it. It's actually tea tree oil. Um, as I was watching myself say this big speech on what ingredients it has in it, I felt really stupid. Because I was like, green tea, huh? But it's tea tree oil, salicylic acid, witch hazel, and camphor. I have no clue what camphor is. But anyway, I'm just going to say real quick that I love this plump and primer duo for your lips. This smells like cinnamon. It smells really good. It actually smells like a cinnamon candy. Um, you can put either one on first or last or... In between, whatever you want to do. It's whatever makes you happy. I don't believe in rules. You know? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, you put this on, and then you're like, Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my lips are so big. I'm beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, so, you put that on, and then it's like tingling. And then... It tastes like cinnamon. No. My lips are tingling right now. Oh my god, they're getting bigger by the second. Anyway, and this is the primer. Primers are good to help with uh, your lipstick and your lip liner, like, feathering and stuff, like, going all out on your skin. And it's a really good lip erase because your lips are pigmented. As you can see, like, mine are, like, this red color or whatever it is. And when you put lipstick on, sometimes it doesn't look the same way as it does in the packaging. It's because of your lips. Because they're pigmented. So if you take a lip primer or a lip erase, whatever, cover it up. Uh, then it will show off the intended color of the lipstick. Plus, it also, uh, where it's a primer, it helps to keep your color on. So, 
that's the way that lipstick supposed to look, baby. Because that's Lady Gaga, baby. Baby. Yeah, but anyways, I really like this. Um, Chicka Boom also has a good lip primer, which is both a lip and an eye primer in one, which I showed you guys in my Chicka Boom um, review video. But yeah, I like the way this one is because it's like lipstick. And you're just like, eh, I could wear this as lipstick too. Yeah. So anyways, I have to go, guys, because Pretty Little Liar is coming on tonight. Can you see this blush? That was like 30 minutes ago when I made that video, and the blush is still on. Going strong, baby. Going strong. All right. Bye, guys.